Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my room I hate how you assume I'll take the pleasure and the pain The sorrows in your brain tuning in from my name is Dan Campbell welcome mahi mahi madness and epic kawaii on this 10th episode of tales of a frigate bird and have a look at this place Honolulu Bay is alive the winter swell has arrived 10 to 15 foot the last couple of days it's settled down a little bit yesterday oh what a day we were out of Kapaa, Kelsey and I on the boat, found the most magic thing you can ever find as a fisherman, you all know, and that is a huge cargo net, chocked full of mahi-mahi, and it was non-stop action. Started with a double and ended with a double. Unbelievable day of fishing, so let's get straight into the action. Please be a place for you by my side, day or night. birds sitting on it right here. That is Mahi Heaven. And we are gonna get on any second here. Okay, I'm gonna put a 
hold on so I can get him. Just let me get it. They keep telling me it's over. How could I be so blind? I've been searching for this all my life. You're just my type. I've been looking for a boy who can treat me right. Your dark head, your girl's eyes so bright. They look into my soul and it sparks my life. Can I take you there? Back to when we felt like this was forever Can I take you there? Like it was the first time Do you remember? Can I take you there? Look at that You're all I need Maybe. Keep going, you got a big mahi on that one I think that's a shebe down the middle. Yeah, a big one, huh? Yeah. We don't want him to come across. Here. He's underneath still. He's over there, yeah. Yeah, but he's. What do you want to do? Uh, to he's going to come this side. I don't know. I think you got to turn to the right a little bit. Otherwise, I can pull the center one. No, you're good. Okay. Yeah, he's a big one. Okay. Oh shit. Huh? Yeah. Shall we keep this speed? Yeah. Fuck. Do you want to switch? Okay, I'll keep turning. I mean, I could go under you. What if I go here? Okay. That's right, just go slow, let him get tired, let him get tired. Yeah. Hang on, hang on, go slow, go slow. He's a bigger one. What the fuck? Okay, ah. real, middle. Watch it. Not too fast. Gone? Just watch your feet. Okay. Straighten what out? Straight in. Straight in. Okay, that's all we've got to do for now. Grab her. 
Good job. Is that? Okay, we need to get gloves on. Okay, wine mine. I got a leader. Where's the gap? This is a good one. Fuck. Wine the other one. I got him. The small fish, there's big fish. Look at this, going mental. Holy mo- 
Molly, what a day. We're just coming into the harbour here in Kapaa. The weather has just gone epically nice. The wind just dropped out. Jeez, I wish we were still out there. We had to leave a, uh, a bird pile of note and we knew there were mahi on it, but we ended with a double today. Double mahi mahis to start and double to end. Holy moly, what a day. We have a bin full of them. We'll be making uh, ceviche this evening, but epic stuff and uh, what a way to end the day. A boat full of fish. Yeehaw! Kona crabbing in Kauai. Oh my god, look at the size of this guy. And I thought these crab pots wouldn't even work. Look at that. Crabbing on the west side is all time. <laughs> hey, what a day in Kauai with my mate Sol on the real charmer. And uh, we're actually not fishing today. Well, we'd like to be chasing mahis. I've got my mahi shirt on. But we are chasing the infamous Kona crabs off the west side. And let's see how we do. These things are absolutely incredible. They're totally wild and crazy to look at. And the eating is impeccable. So let's get some crab pots in the water. Wish us luck. All right, let's do this. Okay, we've got bait. I needed bait on the next one. Do you want me to crabs in there too or no? Not like our dinner. Because it seems to open them up a little bit better. Ooh, be careful here. Yeah. That's not. Yeah, we're at the dead tide. This is But, I hate to say it, we got the most on a running tide. This could be everything, you know? Okay, are we good on that one? Good on Ahi. So the trick here is to let them lay out nice and flat across the bottom. And here we go. Anchor them to the bottom. Well, oh, this is going to be money, this one. This is laying out absolutely epically. This with bare hands at home, kids. <laughs> oh, he's trying to nosh me. Definitely took a glove off too crazy. You Aussies. 
Oh, well, that one hand, it helps, it helps I think. Oh, this one's got a fucking twist in it. There we go. Oh my. Huh? That. It's a monster. Is. Look at the rocker. We eating good tonight. Look at you guy. On ice, mate. On ice. <laughs> we hate crabbing no, apparently. Crab. We hate it. <laughs> oh my. I guess those crab pots work just fine. <laughs> yeah. What? Uh, score right there. Kind of crab. Trick for this is that is a an amazing crab right there is to not um, break the legs when you're trying to get them out of the net because they leak. Oh, they leak. And then you lose a lot of the meat. Alright, well, I'll let you. Um, I mean, it's going to take us a while, but. I'll let you start to work on that while I. Uh, we're going to need gloves. There you go. Congratulations, bro. Fuck, and tell that's the biggest crab I've ever seen. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. Lights, camera, action all right i think catch and cooks kind of wanked but i am a good cook and i do like to catch and on the menu today per this episode number 10 the most amazing eating crab in the world <clears throat> no one has The Kona Crab. Absolutely fucking all time. Um, and so, we've got a couple of them. Five of them, in fact. Five of them. In fact, that's what they look like. Oh, how's that? So, in honor of the Kona crab, I am going to make Kona crab pokey. I've watched a couple of videos online. I'm gonna put my own twist on it. So the very first thing we're gonna do is, we are going to, Break down the crabs. So that we can get the meat out. Now I'm gonna do a couple different things here. I'm actually gonna save the heads, the bodies and the heads, and make risotto later. Uh, which is a ridiculous idea, but it's so freaking good. So, let's get straight into it. A lot of guys break all the legs away and do all of that um, because they're going to sit. So let's do it. Let's break them away. Oh, look at that meat coming out there. Right? Look at that. Break the legs off. Bring it all in the bowl. Oh, this thing is deadly. Okay, no meat in the tail. That is how you tell a male. Skinny tail. Here, you can have that. You want it? Okay. Yum, yum. Okay. This is where I need to be a little bit conscious on what we're doing here. I almost need another bowl. One second. Okay, we're back. I've got a bowl for 
the heads and the bowl for the scraps. Now, once you've taken the tail off, you can actually stick your thumb in here and, and break it away. Be smart about it also. I just put my big knife, give it a little break. Here we go. This is how you break away. And if you keep the head down like that, it's so important because what we have in here is everything for, oh my God, you cannot. Here, you wanna try it? Yeah, I told you, all time, right? We're gonna take this, all of this, I don't even touch it. And I'm gonna make, I'm gonna boil it down, make a sauce and then make risotto from it. So I'm keeping all the heads, they're gonna get marinated, put in the freezer, and then it's game on. Oh my, one head down, hey, out of there. For the pokey, you can kind of just take the rest of this. Like so. And we're going to cut it down the middle. Cut it down the middle. I'm gonna show you a different way in a minute on how to do it. But that's us. First crab. That can be the scraps. This is gonna be the good stuff. Next crab, different way done. Ooh. <clears throat> you know what? As you go, I like to salt them. So this is a combination of, uh, of Hawaiian sea salt, paprika, garlic powder, and I just get it in there, you know. Don't be scared. This is gonna be pokey. All right, next crab. Oh my gosh, I need a freaking hand towel. So. <laughs> okay, next crab. Oh, look at that. One fucker. Huh? Look. Uh, uh, look how extraordinarily amazing they are. So, I think you get, oh, you know what? Let me show you. Let me do this one differently. This is how the local boys do it. They take the tail off straight away. And they like to take the head off. break the body away, like so. Remembering. We are trying to keep all the juice in the head, all the juice in the head. In our bowl. Now, you can pull away the gills and that kind of stuff. I think it all tastes freaking amazing. I'm not too concerned, but I also have to share it with other people, so let's do it properly. Now, this is how the local boys do it. Straight down the middle, and then in between those two quarters. Break the leg off, put him in. Oh my gosh, same thing. In between the two, so you're cutting, oh, let's go to two to three. Kind of just cutting it into quarters, yeah? Oh my. 
Hmm? Look at this. You got here. Look how good that is. That's proper good shit, man. All right. So again. I'm going to quickly salt them because we are going to marinate this overnight. So we kind of want the salt and the pokey mix that I'm going to make next in that. Uh, so I think the best thing to do here is I'm going to clean off the board and I'll, do, I'll just put the camera on time lapse and we can time lapse the other three or four crabs that I need to do. We have all the crab cut up in a big bowl. That is so much Kona crab pokey. I'm gonna have to invite some people over. Oh my God, that is just next level. So this is the gun, this is what's going on the pokey. It's pretty simple, Hawaii, it's very simple. And um, let's get straight into it. So, red onion. Oh, she didn't see that coming. Red onion. I love that that just happened. It's kind of like catching ahi. Red onion. <laughs> Shallots, green onion. Oh, my hands are so slippery. Out of here. That ginger and turmeric. Fresh, local, ginger and turmeric. Absolutely fantastic. And these little red Hawaiian chili peppers. <clears throat> that. I'm gonna cut up right now. It's so good and so fresh and so hot. Look at that. Don't put your tongue on that knife now. Oh, I almost did. Oh, fuck me, I did. Whew. They got a bite to them. Uh, garlic. In there. Done. This is that Hawaiian seaweed. So good in pokey. Look at that. Oof. <clears throat> all time and we're getting really close here and I don't want my hands Hawaiians don't really do lime and lemon on anything this is a good one store bought kukui nut and it just flavors pokey really well what you don't want to do is use much because that shit will give you the stern squirts for days. <clears throat> okay. A little bit of that same sea, uh, salt seasoning. A little bit of that same salt seasoning in there. Put that over there. A <clears throat> this is what you don't see. A squeeze of lime, which kind of gives it the ceviche. Uh, a little bit of a ceviche taste. Now I'm gonna keep that lime because we're working on the, on the pokey right now, but what's happening here is actually gonna be a reduction to make risotto from the cone crab heads. And that's a whole other story. Lastly, whole basil I just throw it in there and to just win it all really friendly splash of sake and that 
is our gold right there. Get into it, mix it up with your hands. Whoa. Now the key to this, look at that. Oh. Wow. Um, wow. That is really, really good. Um, geez, I surprised myself with that. So, final steps. Let me get the camera right in here for this one. Final steps. I'm just going to put on the rest of the sea salt, paprika, in there. And then I'm just going to put all of this garnish in there with the sauce. And give us a proper. mixed around and I'm going to keep this in the fridge overnight because it's going to be better tomorrow and I'm also going to come and turn it a few times and I'll probably put a little uh, a few more little splashes of sake on there to make sure the juices get in and I'll probably squeeze another lime on it but that right there oh my I can't I can't even oh my oh my god That might be the best thing I've ever eaten. It doesn't even need to go in the fruit. Oh my god. Okay, so that is the end of this episode. It's disgusting. You don't like it. You never want to eat it. And this episode is over. I'll see you on the next one. Episode 11. Who knows where we'll be. Mahi Mahi and Kona Crab. <laughs> Two of the world's greatest <clears throat> things. And I'm... I'm speak. We cannot. I gotta go. Okay, bye. <laughs>
that away.